Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how I made the roof tiles for the Fujiwara Tofu Shop Diorama. We start with some plastic tubing from Evergreen scale models that we then cut with a hobby saw. After we've cut the tubing into smaller lengths, we give a good sand to the ends to clean up the saw cuts. We then want to clean up all the burrs from the sanding process. To achieve this I take my ceramic scraper and spin it around inside the tube. This cleans up the edge leaving us with a nice clean finish. This can also be achieved with a hobby knife if you don't have a ceramic scraper, but it tends to bite a bit more so you have to be careful. Now with the tubing cleaned up we take a new sharp hobby knife and cut the tubing in half. By angling the knife and pushing downward we can keep the cut square. Cutting with the knife horizontally can cause the knife to run sideways giving you an angled cut, so it's good practice to push downwards to keep things straight. With all our tiles cut we can begin to glue them onto the roof. Using super glue we lay our first tile and then run up the roof or overlapping tiles as we go. Once the tiles have been laid, we want to create a top capping for where the tiles meet. I take some styrene sheet and leave a mark that's half of a tile. Then I cut two equal strips to create the top capping and glue them at a right angle. Then we glue them to the peak of the roof. After the capping is glued on, I cut further strips to cover the edge of the foam core roof and create a flashing to the end of the roof. We repeat this process around the entire roof perimeter. Using more styrene I cut further strips thinner to create a bit more detail around the edge of the roof. This can be glued and folded around the edge to create a smoother finish. With all the roof details done we need a bit more further clean up using a file and then onto the ceramic scraper. Once our roof is cleaned up, I give it a good coating with some black artist acrylic paint and a brush. Using mahogany brown from Vallejo, we give the entire roof a good couple of coats. We need to make sure we get into all the nooks and crannies leaving no point uncovered. By painting this way with a brush it gives the finish a more uneven texture as ceramic tiles would not be perfectly smooth. With the roof dry I give it a good coat with Vallejo's model wash. Then using a makeup sponge we wipe down the roof allowing the deeper recesses to stay darker. This doesn't have to be perfect as we want to achieve a more uneven look. Once we're done with this step, using an old flat brush and the original mahogany brown, we give the roof a further going over and add a few highlights.
Before we call the roof done, I want to add some further detail. Using MigFX Slimy Grime Dark, then some Slimy Grime Light, we pick out a few random tiles using a small brush. Once I'm happy with the placement, I take a soft clean brush and using enamel thinners blend the grime into the tiles. Once we're done with the dark, we apply the light in the same way to add further depth. Once the roof's dry, we airbrush my favourite matte varnish to protect the roof and take any gloss it might have from the paints. With the varnish dry, we can call the roof finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas on creating your own roof tile. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for further modelling videos. This has been Nozaku Boy, thanks for watching.